So for today, we discuss na rin na paano masasagutan yung module ninyo for week number 4, LC number 1. So let's start with yung exercise number 1. The length of a rectangle is 5 centimeters more than its width. Find its length and width when its area is 150, 150 square or 150 centimeters square. Ang una natin gagawin is gagawa muna tayo ng rectangle at saan meron tayong visual na napasin. Meron tayong visual na napasin. So let's say meron tayong rectangle. So ang sabi niya, the length of a rectangle is 5 centimeters more than its width. Ibig sabihin yung length down natin is mahaba siya ng 5 centimeters kaysa doon sa may width. So let's say yung width natin is x since di naman hindi ka lang yung actual length ng width. Yung length natin is, ang sabi niya, mas mahaba daw ng 5 centimeters kaysa doon sa x. Ibig sabihin, kung yung width natin is x, mag-add ka na 5 para mas mahaba ito ng 5 kaysa dito. So if, if it's more than 6 centimeters, mag-add ka ng 6. If it's uh, 10 centimeters longer, mag-add ka ng 10 doon sa may width. Next, given. Next, nasa natin na is yung area which is 150 cm square. So again, identify muna natin ano ba yung formula pa para sa area ng rectangle. Well, yung formula para doon is L is equal to length times width. So, i-multiply mo yung yung length at saka width para makuha mo yung area. So, meron tayong given na length, meron tayong na form length, meron tayong width, meron tayong area. So, ang gagawin natin is isasubstitute natin yung mga values na yan dito sa formula ng area. So, ang sabi niya, yung area is 150. Yung area is 150. Yung length is x plus 5. Yung width is just x. So, next procedure is we are just distribute yung values ng x plus on my x plus 5. So, what you will do now is use the distribution method ganyan so yung multiply yung x dito sa may x tapos x dito sa may 5 kasi sabi niya para makuha mo yung area umultiply mo yung length at saka width so yan yung multiply natin so you will have 150 x times x is x squared x times positive 5 that is positive 5x next I-transform natin to into a standard form ng quadratic equations. So, ang gagawin natin, yung constant ng 150, ta-transpose natin sa kabila. So, magiging x squared plus 5x minus 150. So, alam naman natin na pag nagta-transpose tayo, pag nagta-transpose tayo sa kabilang side ng equal, uh, ng equal sign, nagpapalit tayo ng sign. So, yung 150 natin, yung positive magiging negative 150. Next. So, ito na yung working equation natin. Ang susunod na gagawin natin, susunod natin yung value ng x. Now, by doing that, gagawin natin, susunod natin yung true, pwede yung quadratic formula, pwede yung factoring, pwede yung omitting the square, para masunod natin ano yung mga possible solutions para ito sa x. Now, pag pinactor natin yan, Pag ginamit natin yung factoring method, yung value niya yung would be yung mga factors natin would be x plus 15, x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, hindi pa po lang yung, yung 0 nyo sa kapila, pero parehas lang din yan, kung nasa kanila o nasa kaluwa. So, yung factors niya is so or x plus 15 to ka x minus 10. So, 15 times 10, you have negative 150, 15 minus 10, you have positive 5. So, yun yung factors niya. Next, ang gagawin natin is equate natin both factors sa 0. So, magiging Saka Okay, yun yung equate natin. And then, pwede mo nang tanggalin yung mga parenthesis. Next. 
Now solve for the values of x. So ang gagawin mo lang doon sa constant na 15 at transpose mo lang sa kabila. And then yung negative 10 at transpose mo lang sa kabila. So magiging x is equal to negative 15. And then this is x is equal to positive 10. Ang tanong, meron kong dalawang answer. Yung isa negative 15, yung isa positive 10. So, what you will do is, you will choose yung positive na value. Kasi alam naman natin, wala naman negative distance. Hindi naman pwede maging negative distance mo para yung positive yan. Yung pinakamababang number na pwede mong makuha dyan is zero. Walang negative. Or mag-convert yung parehas ng solution, pero in reality, yung positive lang yung pwede mong gamitin. So, yung x natin is 10. So, if this is width natin, yung width natin is equal to 10 centimeters. Yung length natin, yung sabi niya, x plus 5. So, yung width natin is 10. Yung x is 10. So, if this is 10, 10 plus 5, this is 15 centimeters. So, tama yung sinasabi niya natin. O, oh, tama yung given natin kasi yung length is mas mahaba ng 5 kaysa dito sa may width. So, kung 10 yung width natin, yung length natin is 15. And then, kapag pinag-multiply mo yung 15 at saka yung 10, you'll get 150. Kasi ganun pinag-compute yung area. Length times width is yung area. Area natin is 150. So, 15 times 10, this is 150 cm yeah. squared. So, ganyan lang yung base ID niya, yung number 1 at number 2. So, ang gagawin mo, para mo na lang yan, gawa ka muna ng rectangle yan. And then, alam mo ang ano yung mga gigan natin. Most of the time, ito lang naman yung papalit. Kung gano'ng kahaba yung length kaysa doon sa may width. So, kung minsan magiging 10, magiging 3, magiging 8, or so forth. Kung minsan na lang yung value nito sa may coefficient ng x greater than 1. Kung minsan na lang 2, na lang 3, na lang 4 nito. So yung kung naman gagawin, isulat mo muna ano yung mga given tapos yung formula para sa area, kailangan mo alam, kailangan alam mo yan. So most of the time, hindi lang kayo yung formula para sa area. So pag nakuha mo na yung working equation para sa mga length at saka weight, we'll just multiply. After nun, transpose mo yung alas sa kabila para magkaroon ng standard form. And then, pwede kang gumamit ng quadratic formula, quadratic uh, factor na yung completing the square para makuha mo yung mga roots. And then yung mga roots, sila yung mga solutions mo para dito sa mga balance ng x. Ang pipiliin mo kung area yan o length yung pinag-uusapan, ang pipiliin mo para yung positive ba, o yung positive value. Pwede din yung negative, pero basically, pwede mo gamitin yung negative din, pero in reality, wala kang negative na distance. Pwede siya mag-work dito pero hindi ka pa din magkaroon ng negative. 